Is there no sound? Okay, how about now? Do, whoever told me we didn't have no sound, do we have any sound now? Oh, Lord. Okay. Let me get a sound check. Do we have a sound check? Sister Harrison, do we have a sound check? Do we have sound now? Thank you for that. Okay, we may just take this out. This might not be working correctly. So we have sound. Praise God. Okay, y'all. Uh, so everything I just got through saying, all you could see was me moving. So I'm going to go back through it real quick because we're not going to be defeated by the devil tonight. We had communion a little while ago and told you what communion meant. We've had prayer and we prepared the way to pray for miracles. Uh, if you have a request, you can call in 347-9972. 347-9972. You can call in. You don't have to mention no names. You can just tell the request. And my wife will uh, tell us and we'll be praying. And we're fixing to uh, anoint the screen and read the requests. But I read some faith scriptures a while ago and you couldn't hear me. And so I was concerned and worried about it. So we're going to go back and redo that. But we have sound now, so we're good. And so uh, we're going to start out. And what I said a while ago was that because we have a promise, we have a purpose, and we have provision, we have eternal life, we love others because he loves us, and because he carried the cross and carried our sins, we are healed, we are made free, we redeemed by his blood, we bought with a price, we are his children, and we're gonna make it home to heaven one day soon. Amen. And he says in 1 Peter 2 and 24, who his own self bear our sins, in his body on the tree Hallelujah. that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53 and 5 uh, 50, yeah, says by his stripes we are healed and then James 1 and 6 says but him that has faith let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavers like the wave and sea driven by the wind and he also says uh, that he tells us in Hebrews 13 and 5, let your conversation be without covenants and be content with such things that you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. We feel his presence tonight. Then he said in 1 John 5 and 15, and if you know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know we have a petition desired of him. And then he said in Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Amen. So I'm going to go to the screen, and Brother Frank's going to start praying. That number again is 347-9972. You can call in. I'm going to start reading these prayers off the screen. We're going to Before anoint our pray, hands. Before we pray, I'd like to ask you a question. Today is Good Friday, 2020. What was, what was Jesus thinking about today, over 2,020 years ago? What was he thinking? He'd already gone to the whipping post, and now the cross, and he'd already, the cross had already been put in the ground about this time, and he looked up and said, it is finished. When he said it's finished, that was for your healing, that was for, it'll never run out, your blessing. All you got to do, believe God. And today, tonight, we're going to trust God that, that some of you that are calling in, you have dire needs. I believe God beyond a shadow of a doubt. Brother Mayor agrees with me that God is going to mightily meet you at your need and contact. Healing will be for you. I believe God's going to do it. Amen. Okay, somebody just uh told me that our picture was upside down so we're working on it a little bit but if you'll just start us out in prayer and we'll get started brother frank we believe in god for miracles whatever your need is we're real close to the screen we can see you now yeah. and uh just send your prayer request in we know that god's able uh don't forget uh number the number to call in is 912 no no donations we're not taking up money tonight 
And so uh, we're praying for uh, for different ones, and we're going to go ahead, brother, and you can get started praying. Father, you see the needs already that have come across the screen tonight. Father God, you know everything about us, Lord. You know when the sparrow falls in the field. And we used to sing that song, If his eye is on the sparrow, surely his eye is on us tonight. God, if anybody is in trouble, there may be some at home that's having to shut in these last two or three weeks that's going through mental anguish or depression. Maybe they have something that's really underlying that's bothering them. A physical problem, Lord. There's nothing too big for you. There's nothing too small that you're not concerned about. God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to go into that place where they're at right now and heal and deliver them, Father. We send the oil of healing. We ask that the angel of God would step into that room yes, wherever they're at and minister to them and heal yes, their Lord. bodies. God, I don't, there's nothing that you yes, will Lord. not even forgive us yes, of Lord. except blaspheme the Holy Ghost. And Lord, I believe you're even merciful in that area whenever it's done in ignorance. But God, there's not anything that you can't heal. And I'm asking yes, you, Lord, to cover your children with the blood of Jesus. I'm reminded right now of someone that's having to quarantine. His, his name, first name is Richard. Father, I ask you to go where he's at right now. And Lord, cover where he's at and give him peace in the midst of this storm and help him to come through this time and weather this storm and not be troubled by it and come out on the other side and say look what the Lord has done and even this afternoon Lord we had calls from Ohio saying we need prayer and, and plead the blood of Jesus over our home and they were taking communion today yes, and tomorrow Lord. and they just said we can't take Praise enough Jesus. of it we just feel like God Jesus. wants to do something in our lives and Lord I ask you Lord to go all the way up into Ohio and bless that family that asked for prayer to Father. Soul, and Lord, Jesus, I know there's Jesus, some Lord that have physical uh, oh, ailments, son, Lord. I don't know all about them, but you do. Oh, yes, Lord, Lord, all we have to do is speak the word. And Father, you said in you said in your word that I am the God that healeth yes, thee. And I ask you right now, Lord, to heal your people, Lord. Lord. I ask you, Lord, not just touch them. Lord, we don't want to touch. We want you to touch them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Lord, and just let everything, Lord, in them just be blessed turn their sickness around turn their condition around and Lord if it's a spiritual need Lord oh today is the day of the Lord today is the day of salvation Father would you turn their life around and Lord let this be the first day of the rest of their life changing their life to be more like you Father what a great night to make a turn for you God I believe you can do anything but fail now heal your people and bless them God and keep us in the watch care of your love and Father I pray Pray, God, that your Jesus. love will be over our house, that your peace will be over our homes, and, Lord, that you will meet every need and every provision that we have need of. And thank you for the people of this church. Thank you for every Christian that is a Christian that is lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes. We wave Lord, the banner of Jesus thank over Jesus. our lives and say, Lord, here we Lord, are. Lord, here I am, Lord. Would you thank touch you, me? Jesus. Would you thank help you, me? Would you bless me? Would you heal me? And I believe God's heard that prayer. Amen Lord, and amen. Lord, Lord. And amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. All right. Everyone that I can see on the screen tonight, we're praying this prayer over you. The scripture, we're claiming Psalms 91 for you. We're going to pray for specific needs in just a few minutes. But like I said, you can call in uh, 347-9972, or you can put your request up on the screen. Uh, I will not call your name out, but I'll believe God what, for whatever. We'll be in covenant together. We'll believe God for that miracle for you. I'm, we're claiming the scripture over you, and then we're going to pray. Now, Psalms 91, and with everything going on in this world, church, we need it. This is why we're praying tonight. And Brother Frank's going to pray again in a few minutes, and then I'm going to pray uh, 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 one more time, prob probably, or however the Holy Spirit leads us. We're letting the Spirit lead us tonight. But... Uh, I want to read this scripture. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Yes, yes He is my refuge. And He is my... Oh, praise God. Praise God. I had to stop there for a minute. I felt a glory wave glory come over me. God. He is my refuge, my fortress. Ha! <laughs> 
my God, my God, my God, in whom, in whom we trust. Surely shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of the pestilence. He shall cover thee, cover you with the feathers and under his wing shall thou trust him. And he shall shield thee and be thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence. That, that stuff that, that, that's going around, it's a pestilence, it's a disease, it's stuff that's going around and we curse it from the very root of it and send it back to, to where it came from. And we just pray deliverance over it. The pestilence, he said, won't touch you uh, and the terror by night. And he said, nor the, that walketh in darkness, nor destruction that wasteth in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand and it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall they behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge and your refuge, yeah. even the most high thy habitation. That's what we're doing tonight. We're including the presence and habitation of the Lord in this place, and we're praying and we're believing with you, every name that I see you up here right now, we're praying over you in the name of Jesus. We're praying Psalms 91 over you. And he said, and he that, that no evil will befall them, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. I claim that over you in the name of Jesus. And he says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee and keep thee in thy ways. And thou shalt hear thee, shall bear thee up in their hand lest they dash their foot against the stone. And he said, you'll tread upon the lion and the adder and the young lion and the dragon and they'll trample under their feet. And because he has set his love upon me and you, he will deliver him and set him on high because he knoweth my name. He shall call upon my name and I will answer him and I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him and with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Fear not. That's Isaiah 41 and 10. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. And I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. We're fixing to join together in prayer. As we see those names popping up there. We're not saying your name. But if you got a need and you want to throw it up there. Just, just, uh, just tell us what the need is. Uh, only me and Brother Harrelson, we're uh, seeing these requests. If you want to keep it, uh, call in 347-9972. You'll be talking to my wife, and she'll call out the need. No name, but she'll call out the need, and we'll pray over it. But we're fixing to start out in prayer again. We're praying for safety and protection of our uh our friends and our loved ones, that the Lord would protect them. And those that are already sick, that he would heal them and raise them up. And so we're fixing to join together in prayer. I want you to join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Jesus, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Almighty God. You are an awesome God. You are the God that sits on high. And your sons at the right hand of the Father, ever interceding for the saints. And Lord, as we bring these needs before you, we have the faith to believe God. And we believe you for the miracle of healing cancer, uh, healing sickness, uh, healing migraines, and uh, healing my uh, pains in the body and the stomach. Uh, Lord, we curse it in the name of Jesus uh, through the blood of the lamb we speak over it you sent your word and you healed us you said if we asked anything in your name that you would do it and, and Lord we just asked you right now Lord to just move upon it through the airways Lord to touch these needs Lord as we've had communion and we remembered the price that you paid and, and we had that communion when we remembered uh, Lord you going to the cross uh, but Lord that's not all that we remember we remember every stripe that was laid on your back and you said because of your stripes uh, we are healed uh, and Lord we know in the old days uh, in uh, Hebrews 13 and 8 it says you're the same yesterday and today and forevermore and Lord you've told us Lord uh, that you would still heal us and you said we have no 
not because we ask yes. not. As we was on our knees in prayer today, you said my children have quit asking and quit seeking and quit praying. And Lord, we're coming together tonight and we're asking and we're seeking. He said, if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, all these things will be added to you. What are those things? They are the promises of God. He said He sent His word and He healed us. And we plead the blood over it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, healing in your wings. Bring it to them in the name of Jesus. Lord, whatever you bring us to, you'll bring us through. And we know through the power of the Holy Spirit tonight that there's no distance in prayer and whatever that need is, Lord. You're able to meet that need, Lord. We just join together in faith. And everybody that's listening or will listen later, we join our faith together and we pray for those that have needs of healing tonight. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray for for healing for uh, the mind, body, and soul. Uh, Lord, we pray for salvation, healing of the heart, Lord. There's many that are running from the Lord and don't understand that He is coming back very, very soon. And He sent a shaking and a wake up to us, uh, Lord, that we would be ready. But in the meantime, Lord, I don't think You want the body of Christ limping into heaven halfway going. Uh, Lord, You said those uh, that were going, uh, that were following out of Egyptian bondage, uh, Lord, they had everything they needed. Nothing wore out. You took care of them. You provided for them. You took them across the Red Sea. Miracle after miracle. And miracles have not stopped. Lord, we stopped. You you said, I am God and I change not. Lord, you hadn't changed. We've changed. But you said, if we would seek you, if we would pray, and we would ask, Lord, that you would send it. Whoa, Lord, you would send healing to us, Lord. And we claim that healing through the blood of the Lamb to each and every one, Lord, that is joining me in prayer tonight. We ask you, Lord, to touch and to heal them in the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to ask Brother Frank, we prayed for healing. And we may go back and pray some more because I, something's turning in my soul. But brother, I feel led to pray, to, to have you to pray for the, the doctors, the nurses, you've worked among them before and, and knowing what they're coming in contact with. We've got members that have children that are working in these hospitals and putting their lives in danger. And I just want you to pray because I know the anointing rests on your life to pray over our nurses and our doctors and our first responders and emergency workers and all those that the Lord would give them safety. Lord, I'm just going to turn it towards you. We had to move the uh, screen around because uh, it was upside down, I was told. But it is doing like it's supposed to do now because we will not be defeated. Amen. We were sent on a mission from the Lord tonight to pray and to believe God for your needs. And so that's what we're doing. So Brother Frank is fixing to pray. He may want to say a few words before he starts praying. But he's going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. You know, my calling in life has always been to um, worship the Lord and preach and sing and play. And that's always been the desire in my heart to do that. But vocationally, I've worked in medicine 43 years. And uh, we have taken all kinds of precautions. We've learned how to protect ourselves. But this is something different that our health care workers are having to deal with. You can't go any place without seeing people where they're being the temperature taken and their mask on and their gloves on. And, and a lot of people are panicking about it. And the people on the, that's having to take care of all these patients, can you imagine what they're having to do? And when they go home, they have to wash their clothes and, and, and get rid of all those germs. And it, it's been a trying time in the land. But thank God for good doctors and nurses. Yes, I believe God yes. uses doctors and nurses in hospitals. Uh, God put, uh, Luke is, was a great, was a physician in the Bible. And if Jesus didn't put some prevalence in that, he would, would not have had him in the, in the Bible. But we know who they're great physician is and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and he is a healer today and I want to ask God to put a covering over our health care workers keep them safe and well and keep them blessed and let them continue to do a good job thank God for what they have done but before I pray you know uh, God uses words of a song to, to get us conditioned and ready to receive from him and 
I believe that God uses music. Music, heaven's going to be full of music. If you don't like music, you won't want to go there. Amen. But this morning I stepped out into that cool breeze and, and I had a song hit me. I want to sing just a verse of it before I pray. And I used to sing it as a little boy. And uh, it just blessed me so. I hope it will be a blessing to you. I usually play for myself, but I'm going to sing it a cappella tonight. And I hope that it will be a blessing to you on a good Friday night. And get your heart ready and your mind ready to receive from God because we can't ask anything but in the name of Jesus. That is the name above every name. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And if any two shall agree as touching it and asking, I will perform it. And I believe he's going to do it. But the old song that we used to sing was, Up Calvary's mountain, one dreadful morn. Walk Christ my Savior, weary and worn, dying for sinners, death on the cross, that he might save them from eternal loss. Precious Redeemer, blessed Redeemer, dying for you. Wounded and bleeding, the, by the stripes of Jesus we have healing and healing divine. Father, I ask you, Lord, to put a covering over our health care workers, over our hospitals, over our doctors, over the nurses and all the ancillary people, the EMS and the first responders, and, Lord, all those that work in other technology fields in the laboratory, I ask you, Lord, to even bless those that are trying their best right now to find a vaccine or cure for this virus. But, yes, Lord, I yes. believe it's already there. Yes. I believe there's a... I believe there's Hallelujah. a cure that you're going to reveal. It. Yes, Lord. And I believe it'll be so simple that they'll say, it was there all the time. Because mm -hmm. God, I, you made every element, you made every mineral, every substance that's on this earth, and you've shown man how to put it together to yes, mix it up Lord. for our good. Oh, and Lord, Lord, even with that, that charge with the power and the anointing from heaven, Lord, healing is for the children. And Lord, I know that you're going to bless your people. Bless the hospitals, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, to let everything that we see around us be blessed in all the clinics and lord the the little children that are sick and the adults the young adults and the older people and father not only them but those that are in the nursing home god visit them lord i know this has been a lonely time for them but lord warm their hearts tonight and let them know that they're loved too father we know that we're never alone as long as you're with us and we ask you lord just to place your hand over this county and all the surrounding counties around us and let us be able to after all this was said look what god yes. has done yes. we'll thank you for it god for we know that you are the giver of all good things all good and perfect things come from you. Your word says that you are good, God. Lord, you're above that. You're, you're better than good. Lord, you're above all that. But I thank you, God, for taking care of our country as well. Father, would you bless our president tonight? Yes. Bless our vice president and, and this panel that's been keeping us updated, Lord. Help them, Lord, and give them the right knowledge. And, and Father, I pray, Lord, that you bless the finances of your people. And Lord, I pray, God, that all this money that's been borrowed, Lord, that you would miraculously let it be able to be able to fall back in place and America not be crippled by that. Lord, you can do anything but fail. Yes. And we're asking you, Lord, to yes. take care of it all. We're asking a lot tonight, God. But Father, we know that you are a great big God. I think about that song that Mahalia Jackson sang. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know your eyes on us tonight. Mm -hmm. Keep your hand upon us, God. And I pray that we'll all march out of this time and on this Resurrection Sunday that we'll have a revelation yes. that we can say, look what the Lord has done. Send healing virtue. We ask in Jesus' name, and we all said, amen. amen. Praise God. Got one more prayer left, and it won't be long. We're fixing the land, but uh, I just 
been feeling the presence of the Lord. And, uh, but we uh, know that without a shadow of a doubt, that whatever your need is, he said, I'll supply your need according, according to what? According to his riches and glory. I'll supply all, not part, not just a few, not just a little bit, all of them. So this is what it says in the word. He says, heal me, O Lord, because I want to pray one more time because I just got a feeling that somebody was just wanting to send a request in and whatnot, but I just, we're going to, in this closing prayer in just a minute, I want to read three scriptures and claim them over you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jeremiah 17 and 14, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Praise God. Save me and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. And then Jeremiah 33 and 6, Behold, I will bring help and a cure. Holy Spirit told me to write this down and say, Claim it in the name of Jesus. You go underline it in your Bible. If the God-fearing people in this land hear me from anywhere that you're at, write this scripture down. The Holy Spirit Gave this to me this afternoon, Jeremiah 33 and 6. Behold, I will bring a help and a cure, and I will cure them and reveal unto them the abundance of my peace and truth. He's talking to the child of God. And whatever you're dealing with tonight, whatever you're going through, just remember he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed yeah. i want to pray for my, my sons are in law enforcement i want to pray for covering over them and and uh, i pray for them but i want to just one more time whatever your need is say lord i believe with all of my heart that i've got people that are joined with me tonight i believe that you're going to heal me that the miracle that i need is on its way and I believe it with all of my heart. Lord, pray for, we pray for our law enforcement and our children. We pray for our children, Lord, that you'll just put a covering over them and keep yeah. them safe. And Lord, we praise yeah. you for what you've done tonight. Lord, we know that we we're going to hear uh, reports back, Lord, that people joined us in prayer and they were healed and they're touched on this Good Friday. Lord, what better night to have miracles than, Lord, than, than to be reminded of uh, the Last Supper, Lord, when you uh, they had that covenant with you and it reminded them, Lord, the Passover when they were in Egypt and they put the blood on the doorpost and, and the disease and the enemy, the death angel, had to pass that doorpost uh, because of the blood was applied and we spiritually apply the blood yes, tonight amen. in the name of Jesus over every situation that's out there over every sickness and over this COVID or uh, uh, Corona or what, whatever they give it a name it still come from the pits of hell and yes. we rebuke it and send it back there in the name of Jesus Lord and Lord bring us back together I miss my church family so much Bring us back together very soon, Lord, that we can come in. And Lord, this time I believe we won't take it for granted when we come and we worship together. We won't be ashamed of the gospel because we know it's the power to save and make a difference. And so, Lord, we trust you and we believe you and we thank you in the name of Jesus. So if you want to send me a message on uh, my number, most of you have my number. If you don't, you can go to church page. My number's on there. If you want me to join you in prayer on something, or uh, we'll, we'll join together and believe God. But we're gonna we're gonna end tonight. Uh, I'm gonna let brother. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna let you, brother. I'm gonna ask you one more time. I do want to say one more thing. Yes. You know, all through the years of pastoring, one thing that I the Lord really instilled in my heart Praise that you, has always been true: that if we praise Him, yes, when praises go up. The Blessings come down. And I guess maybe because he gave me the gift of music, that means more to me than it does some others. But when we begin to praise him, and we just magnify him, he just wants to shout. He can't do enough for you. So I say tonight, yeah. you know, after this telecast, just begin to praise God. You know, they say it's going to be 40 degrees in the morning. Get out in the morning time and raise your hands toward heaven and say, Lord, I just want to praise you. I want to magnify you. And when you begin to praise God, 
blessings are going to come down. So I wonder right now, as we get ready to leave this broadcast, yes. if you would just join with me and let's just say, Lord, thank you for what answered prayer. Yes. Thank you for answering yes. prayer and, and doing what you praise said you're going to do. Just praise begin God. to praise him and thank praise him. Some you. people say, I'm not much of a shouter. I don't, I'm not very vocal. But you know what? I, I believe that if you really get something from God, you're going to go back and say, Lord, I thank you for that and begin to bless him. I don't this has been a short time tonight and we've had a little bit of technical difficulty but still the presence of God has been here yes, and we've yes. prayed every prayer in faith believing that God is going to meet you at your point of need and we want to say happy resurrection yes, Sunday yes, to everybody yes. at, the cross, at the cross at the cross where I first cross, saw the, the line and the, the burden of, of my soul rolled away it was there my faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the way. Praise God. Oh, Amen. Yes, yes. God bless you. We love you. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May his countenance shine upon you. And from the Uvital Church of God, until next time, resurrection morning, Easter Sunday morning, Hallelujah. daylight. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. Love you. God, God bless you.